Meanwhile, the debate on gun rights is really heating up. Filmmaker Michael Moore is getting a lot of attention today after proposing a 28th Amendment to the Constitution that repeals the Second Amendment. Moore called that Second Amendment ancient and outdated. You know, this is part of an ongoing debate. Let's bring in uh, Mark Levine of Virginia State Delegate and former congressional attorney. Mark, we thank you for joining us here tonight. Um, let's start now with this idea of Michael Moore's because this is getting a lot of viral attention tonight online. A lot of people are tweeting about it. But given the loggerheads that both sides are at these days on this, isn't this really just kind of a pipe dream and not helpful to the larger argument about what does or does not need to be doing with gun control? I, I do think the repeal of the Second Amendment is, is a tough lift, right? You need two-thirds of both houses of Congress and three-quarters of state legislatures. But you really don't need that to do, for example, the bill that I've proposed in Virginia that they're proposing in Congress to ban those bump stocks. Because the Second Amendment protects the right of a well-regulated militia. It protects the people's right collectively to to defend themselves. That's what the text says. And, you know, people should actually read the text of the Second Amendment. Uh, it does not say that you should have a particular kind of gun or anything like that in the Second Amendment. So, uh, you know, I, I don't think repeal is necessary in order to get this legislation through. You know, uh, you bring up the point about the bump stocks, and uh, it, it's interesting uh, that the NRA coming out today mm -hmm. saying that they right. would they think it should be regulated they didn't necessarily word it as a ban but do you think it's more of a political uh, positioning on their part uh, by by saying this or do you think they really believe at the NRA that that needs to be banned you know I, it's hard to get in the mind of the NRA I can tell you this they didn't support it before and they do support it or apparently are open to the idea now good frankly uh, good to have their support on this uh, you know I don't agree with the NRA very much I have an F rating from the NRA is my grade but if the NRA and gun owners agree that lunatics shouldn't have access to machine guns well that's a start I mean you know, there is a law a 1986 law banning machine guns but these bump stocks allow semi-automatic uh, rifles to act like a machine gun and so if Congress can ban machine guns, it seems to me they can ban a device that makes a semi-automatic like a machine gun. But Mark, as somebody who probably positioned yourself on the side that you would like to see more regulation and more gun control, aren't you just kind of like arguing over the margins here? I mean, we're talking about bump stocks, not mm -hmm. the actual weapons that carried out this attack. Well, I don't consider uh, 59 dead Americans and more than 500 injured to be the margins. This guy could not have done what but he did. But the weapon, Mark, we're not talking about the weapons. We're talking about bump stocks here. Well, but the bump stock is what made that man's semi-automatic weapon into a machine gun-like weapon. He could not have committed the carnage he did without that kind of fire. Now, he could have done a lot of carnage. And frankly, I'd like to go farther. I'd like to see ammunition clips be limited. Uh, I think assault, the assault weapons ban or something similar to it, it had some laws, but something similar to it. I'd be open to going a lot farther than this. I agree we need to go farther, but if this is one thing we can all agree on, that at least would have saved some lives in Las Vegas. All right. Virginia State Delegate, uh, Mr. Levine, thank you so much for coming in tonight. We appreciate it. My pleasure. All right. Good talking to you. you know